Welcome and welcome back to Scorpio Tiger's Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. I'm here to do the yearly reading for the sign of Virgo. I hope your year is starting off great, Virgos. We're going to get right into this. I'm going to pull two cards for uh, your career, your finances, love, and family, okay? So let's see what's going on here. Virgos and their career. Ten of Swords. That's just like Scorpios. And the Five of Swords, okay? You're going to put an end to something. You're about to quit your job. And you're going to walk away, okay? And your finances. Seven of Swords and the Seven, two Sevens. I wonder what that means. Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups, okay? It looks like, oh, excuse me, if somebody's going to be, mm -mm. Seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups. You're leaving something. You're running away from some thieves or something, some 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 dirty lying people, and looking at your options. That's what it looks like. Love, we got the Ten of Swords. That's what it looks like. We're going to clarify it. And love, we got the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Swords, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. So you might be stressing a little bit about love this year. Let's see. Family, we got the Empress. Okay, somebody might be having a baby. And the Hangman. Yeah, somebody might be having a baby this year. Good stuff. Okay, or you're or you're or you're praying for a new beginning with your family. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, uh, something stable is going to be coming into your life. Okay, let's clarify. Why is this Ten of Swords and this Five of uh, Ten of Swords and Five of Swords here? It's a lot of communication going on here for the Virgo Collective. Why is this here for their career? For the clarify. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, that wanted to come out. Okay. You so so you probably quit your job and you're gonna get a better offer for the clarify spirit. Thank you. Yep, and you're looking at your choices. Yep. Walking away and looking at your choices. You're about to change your career or job. Okay. And um, yeah, something better. You got a better offer, or a better offer is gonna come in this year, okay? Yeah, judgment's been called. Something probably went down there. You just wasn't happy at your job anymore. Even though the money was coming in, you, you wasn't happy there. I don't know what that's about. But yeah, you're going to get another offer. It, it, it's moving real slow with that Knight of Pentacles. That's like one to two years, but it's going to come. All right. So right now, you just at a crossroads with that judgment. We'll, 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 we'll come back around. Okay, the seven, of, the seven of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Why is this here for their finances? For the Virgo Collective. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. The Four of Wands is stability. So you're definitely going to have some stability. You're going to walk away from something or someone. Some, something shysty. And you a thief. You're going to walk away from this person. These people or person, whatever. And, um... You, you're going to have your stability. You're going to receive some blessings. And you're going to receive some stability. Let's see what that, that two sevens mean. I'm sorry. I forgot to look it up. <laughs> I want to see what that means. The two sevens. What is that? News. Okay. News. Okay. So you might receive some news. And that's what's going to make you uh, leave your job and look at other options. But your money's going to be good. Okay. <clears throat> Good stuff. As, as far as love, the Nine of Swords and the Knight of Swords. You got a lot of swords in your reading. Why is this here for their love life? For the Virgos, love life. Oh. Somebody is really stressed out about their love life. Let me look at that. I'm, I'm going to just check it again. Cause they talk the nine of the swords talks about depression and oh death. Mm. Despair and disappointment. Deception. Can't sleep, almost completing a cycle, overthinking, which Virgos do. Um Virgos like to overanalyze everything. That's why they smart as ever. Um, but what it's looking like is that 
as far as love goes, it looks like I don't want to say that. You're being told to balance yourself, but that's what it's saying. It's saying like somebody might die and it's gonna be strift. I mean swift. And it's happening right now with the seven of cups. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Because my friend just died. My childhood friend just died on Friday. And then it just came out of this reading. What kind of mess is that? And she's a Virgo. But anywho. Let's further clarify this right here. What is that talking about? I, I, oh my God. That just messed my whole mindset up right there. Hold on a second, y'all. Hmm. All right, this is talking about love. Why is that popping up? Love, 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 love. Okay, you're going to balance yourself and you're going to have your contentment this year. Okay, and this is happening right now. You could be stressing out and you're being told just to be brave and move forward. Okay, you're stressed, probably stressing out because you're missing somebody and you're being told to move forward. Okay, I can't believe that came out like that. Mm. Yeah, but it's happening right now. Let me double check that Six of Cups in reverse. I'm going to double check it. I know that it means that something that's about to happen right now. Okay. Six of Cups in reverse. The future. Reviewal, re renewal. Um, that will come to pass presently. Okay. This ain't, it's not saying... Uh, uh, six months, two months, three months from now. I was talking about presently. It's about to happen. Okay. It's also about renewal. Okay. So you may be reconciling with somebody. Give us more, please. Because I can't unsee what I've seen. Maybe I was supposed to tell that. I don't know. Because that nine of swords is about death. Excuse me. And I didn't even know that until I just read it. That's I didn't even know that. Okay, I'm being told to move forward. The, okay, as far as the family goes, we got the empress and the handyman and the hangman. Okay. As far as family. So what is this talking about for the Virgo Collective? Okay. Gonna get a, a, a brand new beginning that you've been praying for. Maybe your relationship hasn't been working, hasn't been so great. Because when I say family, I'm talking about parents, siblings, cousins, that type of family. Your love and life is already covered right here in the love portion, okay? I just noticed that I did not have a camera down enough. I'm sorry, y'all. But this is the love portion right here. This is family that's talking about. We got the empress and the, the hangman. Maybe you've been praying to have a child and now you're you you're you've had you've had one or now you found out you're pregnant, okay? And and this is your justice, okay? Yeah, you're praying for a brand new beginning is what it looks like with some somebody in the family, but you feel like you can't move forward, like something's holding you back. It's something that you don't know, and it's holding you back from uh it's holding you back from uh moving forward. But you're going to be fine. Let's go to the clear. We're going to further clarify. Let's go back to the Kipper. For the Virgos. Okay. Spirit, you got anything you want to add to the career of the Virgo? That is quitting their job or their career. And at a crossroads right now. But an, another offer is coming. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh -oh. We got sudden wealth. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> sudden wealth is the first card. And unexpected income. Okay. Sudden wealth. Expectations. Okay. Journey. Okay. That the journey means it could be like it's, it could be about a year or so. And uh and it's gonna be exciting. And unexpected income. You got both of the money cards out on your career. So you're making the right decision for yourself when you quit this job. Unless you got fired. But it looks like you quit. And it's all going to work out. You see that Virgo? Good stuff. 
Now let's go to the finances. What's going on with that? You got all the money over here. Why is this? Uh, why is the seven of swords, the three of cups, and the four of wands under the finances? You want to add to this? Okay, the courthouse. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. That somebody is, um, you're running from somebody like a thief or something. Yeah, and you're looking at your options, but it says you're gonna have your contentment. Anything else from Virgos? Uh, finances. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. All that money came out under your career. You are about to do well when you change jobs. So yeah, that's what it says. You put the end of what you're doing now. You're about to go to the next level. Okay. Poverty. Okay, that's a lack. Okay. Why would that come out under your finances? Courthouse. It's just that, you know, going to the courthouse, having a mediator, okay? Okay, poverty. And you're going to feel like you need to be concerned, but you're being told, I'm telling you, you, you're being told that you are going to have contentment this year in your finances. Yes, there it is with the lovers. Yeah, what did that lover say? What was that? Oh, wrong book. Fifteen. <clears throat> Let's go to 23 first. The courthouse. Let's see that. This card describes all legal and um, notarian matters, okay, and decisions, okay? However, it does not necessarily announce a court dispute, but primarily reflects all decisions, discoveries, and assessments. Your relationship has to undergo a test now, or possibly it's your employment. And yes, it is. And that's what's happening over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The courthouse um, recommends discovering the truth and coming to an honest decision. Okay. This stuff is all about negotiations. Good stuff. Now the lovers here. Yeah, that's what it's about. You come to a realization that you don't want to do this job anymore. And you're running away with that poverty card. Yeah, you, you feel like you're not being gratified. But that's that's still, we still talking about finances. You weren't making enough money with your with your career this year. And that's why you're concerned. You're like, you know what? It's time for me to get out of here. Concern is just really like about thoughts, really. Yeah, having those negative thoughts, you're being told to let them negative thoughts go. Yeah, get out of those negative thoughts and having fears of a lack, okay? And you got two cards of lack because you're, you're mentally abusing yourself. Stop doing that, Virgo. Yeah, because you're, you're talking you're talking down to yourself, and, and I see it. That's It's not good. Don't do that. With that poverty and, and concern, I get it. It don't seem like things are going to go well. Stay in prayer and watch how it works out, okay? Let's look at this lovers, okay? This this card is primarily an indication of love falling or falling in love. In professional terms, which we're talking about, it may, it may show a workplace love affair, okay? Perhaps it means that you love your work and that your heart and mind are in harmony, okay? But something's not right with it. This card indicates love and friendship. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That was it. You can find love and faithfulness now. I don't understand why that came out of there. Hold on a second. Yeah, buddy, that's what it's saying. You had a workplace love affair, so you could be having a concern because you had a workplace workplace love affair while you're going to court with this with this uh with these people. So that may be what is going on here. Let me look at that seven of cups. Because it looks like these these been reversed for some reason. Because this is looking all about your finances. You got all the is see the seven of cups is about choices and blessings, okay? Imagination. 
okay, attainment of, of, of these things, but nothing is permanent. It's also about illusions and fantasies and daydreaming. Okay, so you're trying to get back to the reality. Okay, spirit is warning you through visions. Okay, so somebody's probably trying to steal from you. And you're being warned through your dreams and visions. Take off the rose-colored glasses and see the truth. Okay, and that's where your contentment is going to come in with the four wands and your stability. Okay, because you're, you're being lied to and led down... It's, it's the wrong path. I said it. <laughs> the spirit's like, wrong path, wrong path. So you're going down the wrong path. <laughs> you go, I'm sorry for laughing, but that was just too crazy. You're going down the wrong path. And the spirit is, and, and the most high warning you through, through visions and, and, and stuff. And, and once you realize that and take off the rose colored glasses, Come out of this poverty mindset or whatever you're doing. It looks like somebody's selling drugs. And it looks like that's what that's what it looks like to be selling drugs or something. You're doing something you ain't got no business doing for money. And you don't even have to do that. That's what it's saying. You going to, and, and what made you realize this was messing up your money is because you had to go to court. You probably got caught doing what you was doing. I don't know. And all you're thinking about is all the lack and the concern. But you like what you're doing because it's easy money. Why is this doing this to me? Uh, give us more on the finances, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse. You're going to, you're going to, uh, what is Ace of Swords in reverse? That's great love and hate. You like what you do, but you, but you, but you hate the, the, the repercussions of it. It's a love hate situation here. Thank you, Spirit. That's confirmation. Mm hmm. Yup. Know, but as you know that this is going to lead to disaster. Whatever you're doing, it looks like somebody's selling dope. That's what it looks like. And you don't know whether to keep on getting that money or to cut it off. And that's what it's looking. That's what that's what your finance talking about. This over here is supposed to be about your career. I don't understand. And all the money coming in, and everything is coming in over here. I, oh, oh. So when you put an end to selling the drugs or whatever you're doing, getting caught illegally, and whatever it is that you're doing, when you put a when you walk away, you're going to be able to get out of it. And you may go to jail because I kept seeing that eight of, eight, of wine, eight of swords in my hand. So you could be going to jail for a couple of years because it's judgment that's going to be passed on you for the way you live in. My goodness gracious. That's why I was talking about all that sudden wealth that you was getting expectations oh my goodness and the journey you loved all of that you didn't expect to get that much money in this career oh my goodness this reading just went left and I'm thinking that's what that's talking about for real Somebody doing something, I heard, strange for a little change. And they are realizing that it's not all what it's chopped up to be. That money wasn't that important. It wasn't even that serious to have to go that far. Because they probably realized, especially as a Virgo, Virgos are smart as ever. <laughs> you know, the, you don't have to be out there being uh, doing stuff illegal in the country that you live in. You know, even though it is what it is, you probably was great at it. But it's telling you that this is uh, saying, oh my goodness. I think somebody going to jail. 
They're going to decide to go. They're going to decide to to quit what they're doing too late. Something's going to happen. And um, you're going to gain that clarity. Give us more, please. Give, give us more on their finances for this year, please. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to feel all alone in the world. Yeah, the, the, that, that fast world, that fast world, that fast money eat you up, chew you up, and spit you out quick. Real fast. So you're going to lose everything is what this is saying. But you need to stand in your power, Virgo. Yes, you do. You got to be strong, honey, and stand in your power. Yeah, this is going to, this whole situation is going to leave you alone and by yourself. You need to stand in your power, okay? No matter what happens, start start using your, your uh, abilities and them smart, your, your, uh, your cleverness and uh, your attention, your great attention to detail and find a path that you really want to be in, Virgo, and start pursuing that. And if you in jail, start studying while you're in jail so that when you get out, you can get your degree real quick. Probably you can earn credits while you're in jail. Get that degree and live by the laws of the land. Unless you're going to emancipate yourself, what you going to do? You, you can't be out here breaking the law and getting that fast money because that fast money is just as addictive as taking the drugs. This is what people don't understand. You know, just like them women out here doing them OnlyFans, them little young girls, they don't understand. That fast money is just as addictive as the person watching it. You sell drugs, get that fast money, you just as addicted to selling the drugs as them people are taking it. And either way it go, it doesn't end well. Sidebar. <laughs> anyway, let's go on to love. That 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 just really flipped everything over for me right there. I don't even know what to do with that. It was looking so great. Thank you, Spirit, for clarifying. Yep. Thank you. All right. For love, we got the we got the Nine of Swords and and the 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 Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups in reverse. Anything for the Virgo Collector. Thank you. Worth waiting for. Okay. Yeah, worth waiting for is what it's saying. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Okay. You're stressed, but you're being told to move forward. There's a lot of bravery right now. Yeah, go ahead and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy. Okay. And is is worth waiting for. So when you see this person, you've been stressed in the press waiting on this person to come to you. And you're being told to move forward. And it's going to be worth waiting for. Go ahead and flirt with that person that's not caught your eye. Okay? Let go of control issues. All right? And as far as your family goes, it looks like you're having a brand new beginning. And uh, or you're pregnant. And you've been praying for this. So... Yeah, this is going to be your justice. Anything else regarding family? Yep, it's what you wish for. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. this is, you're going to get what you wish for as far as family, whether it's renewing, a, having a new beginning with a family member, getting pregnant, whatever it is you've been praying for, Virgo, that's going to work for you this year. Good stuff. You're being told to focus on your goals, though, okay, and your finances, all right? All I can say about y'all reading is, wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. If you took anything from this reading, like, share, and subscribe. And like I always say on the weekend readings, but this is the yearly reading. We're going to make it a great year on purpose. See you soon. Take care.